Video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today. Welcome everyone, we're at IT Expo Miami and we are having a blast. The weather is wet but warm and uh, given what's going on at home, it's better than wet and cold. So we're very happy uh, to be here and speaking about somebody who has come in from the cold, Tom Phelan, who is the CTO and Vice President of What's technology. the of technology? That's it. Uh, of Unified Office uh, has been in New Hampshire. Just out of curiosity, what's the latest weather for you guys in New Hampshire? Well, when I left, it was about ten degrees and uh, snowing. Okay, <laughs> and you know, I have such a rough time explaining what Unified Office does well to people because we've got so many soft clients that have ended up on the phone, right? That people don't understand the idea of actually having the feature set and the connectivity of a business associated with that soft client. So tell me about the struggles you guys have had and what's, what it takes to make that kind of leap from just the soft client to a soft client that actually services a business's operations. Yeah, well, it's kind of amazing what goes on behind the, uh, the face of what you actually see and interact with. You know, you, you, it's an iceberg kind of phenomenon where, where one, one eighth of what you see is, is what you actually interact with and seven eighths is what's going on in the background. Uh, the, uh, the internet is made up of a bunch of unreliable components, uh, each on their own, and, uh, and making the, uh, a conglomeration of them reliable is an interesting exercise in the back. Uh, we have to do uh, dynamic routing of your call, uh, we have to determine the best uh, service provider in any given moment to, to give your call to, we have to monitor the network conditions. Uh, between our various devices and our service providers and, and your, the customer's premise, things along that line. Uh, and, and then you have to deal with uh, things like, uh, well, you know, somebody coming along with uh, their, their, their iPad and plugging it in on a static IP address and con conflicting with one of the phones kind of thing. And so uh, we have a variety of tools that allow us measure, monitor, and adapt to these kinds of things as they happen. So to that point before about somebody plugging in, you know, on this desk right now, we have the remnants of a desktop being mm -hmm. here, right, with the, with the phone. But you guys are supporting tablets and smartphones and basically the people who are ready to kind of make the transition, right? Mm -hmm. but, but you're also willing to let them do it in transition, correct? Yeah, everybody still seems to want a desk phone. Uh, it takes them a while to realize that an iPad with a soft client is even better than a desk phone. Uh, but they still want that desk phone. We still supply it, uh, and, and actually, you know, the vast majority of our users use the desk phone. And are you supporting legacy as well? Like if somebody says to you, you know, I've already had a phone system for, I don't know, 30 years, or, you know, some, let's see, the Merlin came out in 82, so, you know, <laughs> uh, so somewhere, somewhere in that neighborhood, um, you know, people, yeah. I notice that people have a tendency to keep what they have for a long time. Are you able to interact with that kind of legacy there? Not much, that kind of legacy, no. We, we do tend to get uh, installations where we're, where we're placing a, what, uh, what was a, a so-called VoIP installation. They usually vo VoIP internally and PRI externally. Out, yep. yeah. And they'll have polycom phones or things along that line that are reasonably up to date, can be upgraded to the latest software, and we'll often just go with that. Okay. Uh, if that's, but if the phones are too old, or too, then, we, then we have to junk them. And, uh, so, so what's the range? Where do, you, where do you guys, what's your sweet spot? Do you like customers that are um, five lines, 20 stations? Do you like guys who are, you know, if I'm a two-line, two five-station company, am I in your, in your purview or it doesn't well, really matter? Well, well we tar try to target the five to the hundred type thing. Five is a little low for us. Okay. Uh, and, and uh, just, the, just the economics of it, somebody has to, we, we sell to resellers, the resellers to get there and install the kind of thing. But a lot of the resellers we sell through do support the five or so type thing, so, so we go for that thing. The sweeter spot is up around 20. Okay. Um, and, and lines is a concept that's really, you know, doesn't exist. It doesn't exist anymore. It's yeah. A, it's, I'm yeah. even wrong mentioning it. Yeah, that, that's a good point. You know, the one thing that was hitting me is, We've become so virtual that, you know, whatever's in the office isn't necessarily how we're using things. You know, 70% of the um, of communication in a company is basically internal. So if you're able to get it off your minutes base, 
with the carrier and get it on to you know, the soft client, you're way ahead of the game in theory. Yeah, especially if you have a multi-office so, or you have home, home users or home workers or things along that line. Uh, and, you know, traveling salesmen kind of right. thing and stuff like that. Right. And you it's guys, great to be able to dial a three-digit extension and get them anywhere in the world. Right, and you guys manage the, even those remote folks in terms of dynamic routing and making sure that you're optimized, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the term unified office really has to do with unifying my, my smartphone, my tablet, and my desktop, and whatever el else I'm going to use to communication. Yeah, exactly. It makes it so much easier to get a hold of somebody. Uh, when they think, and of course you have the ability to not answer. <laughs> There's the downside of that too. But you know, you, you don't have to say, "Oh, I'm going to dial his extension." Oh, he's not in the office. Oh, I'm going to dial his cell phone or anything. You just you can just dial his three digit extension. We'll we'll find the person for you, kind of thing. And and, and it could be a desk phone. It could be a you know a, a cell phone with a soft client. It could be a tablet. The person gets to choose where he answers, uh, and, and a lot of flexibility is built in. Sounds good. So if people want to talk to you guys, how do they reach you? Uh, www.unifiedoffice.com is great. Uh, and uh, our, our local resellers uh, network is, uh, is, is building. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right. Video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today.